We're going to New York. Don't really need these. Morning, currently 7 a.m. here in London town. This time lapse has been running since 4 a.m. and I arrived into London yesterday, thinking my flight was at 12 p.m. yesterday and it wasn't. It was at 12 p.m. today. Now, this isn't a long trip by any means. I've tried to do it with just my hand luggage, packing my boxes, shorts, trousers, t-shirts, my laptop, and camera gear all into this bag, which is now in the bin. It just wasn't big enough. Yesterday, I bought a much bigger bag, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to put this camera stuff in it too, because otherwise, we're f***ed, bro. Fat guys, before we go, I'm just going to climb on top of this hotel. This is London. I thought I'd just come and show you up here before, before we jet. <laughs> Definitely not meant to be up here. Check out that view from the hotel room though. Oh wow, New York. Morning, New York City. Okay, so it's currently 7.24 a.m. in New York, which puts it around midday in the UK. So I'm feeling pretty jet lagged right now. To fix that, Starting the day with some yoga. Love a defender. Okay, all back from yoga. Now, like I've said, guys, I'm here with Sonos. One of my main gripes with Sonos is a lot of their products are quite expensive, but that's because they are really high quality products, right? Sonos sort of pride themselves on creating the best sound quality possible. That's kind of their whole ethos. Now, I'm not 100% sure what the new products are going to be, but I've been told Sonos are trying to bring all of their products down the price range so they're more accessible to a larger group of consumers. Now, the event where they're actually releasing these new products is this evening. However, I've been given the golden ticket to go to the event before the event actually starts. Basically, I get to see the event and see the new products and bring my camera with me before it fills up with hundreds and hundreds of people. So that being said, I need to change lenses. There we go, vlog mode activated. First, I'm gonna meet up with a few of my creative friends and grab a little bit of food. Here he is, how are you doing bro? Good, yourself? Yeah, good morning. Okay, so we are heading now to what is going to be the Sonos event later, but there's going to be nobody there, so we get basically free reign, don't we? A little bit of content. And he doesn't have a mask on. You're a naughty boy. Oh, I am. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble.
So I was kind of hoping that Sonos were going to release some new sort of smart home speakers to replace the Play 3 and the Play 5. That's not the case. It's basically new colours for their portable lineup and a new soundbar, which is actually quite interesting. Now I know a load of my audience loves Sonos because they've said it to me in the comments before. It's going to be around £250 in the UK, which is really quite acceptable for the high quality soundbar market, in my opinion. I'm sure you'll agree. Look, look at these little, this one's playing. And they're all playing, they're all synced up. This is sick. So we've just figured something out. Because all these things are linked up, if you pause it, it pauses all the music in the entire place. Right, let's put it back on. <laughs> so this is sick. So this is the soundbar here, the new one. Here's my hand for reference. As you can see, it's one of the smaller soundbars, and obviously it is the cheapest one that they've got on offer, which is great for people if they want to get in to the ecosystem. You've got the speaker at the front, obviously. Sonos logo there. Touch capacitive buttons along the top. And then on the back, obviously you've got your ethernet connection, you've got optical for your TV, power and the sync button, and it looks like this can be mounted on the wall or let's say underneath a flat screen TV, probably with a mount sold separately. I think this is sick, but the one thing on my mind is that because this is about 250 pounds, is this gonna clash with the Play 3 because it's about the same price too. Obviously the added benefit that this can plug into your TV, but you won't be able to stereo pair two of these together because this is a stereo speaker. So yeah guys, let me know what you think in the comments because this is sick. We're going to come back to this event later and it is going to be absolutely packed. Okay, so a little after event, before event, what? <laughs> uh, some food, hey? Some drinks on a rooftop bar. turned out absolutely fine, no troubles with it, fit everything in. Obviously I came back two weeks ago, I have not just come back from the airport with these on. So my quest for the best audio system took me to New York and I got introduced to the season two stuff from Sonos. Now I have the new Rome speaker here in the new color and I also have two of the Ray soundbars. One here and there's one up there on, uh, on top of the unit. I haven't really been too fond of Sonos because I was, and my family has been, a huge investor in the season one stuff of Sonos. And I was really disheartened when they discontinued all of that, but I didn't realize how good this season two stuff is. Okay, so to demonstrate this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click play on this track here. Right, I've got that coming out, both of the Ray soundbars in this room together. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Rome and I'm gonna go outside. Okay, so I'm now outside with the Rome. The two speakers inside are still playing. All I'm gonna do is press and hold on the play and pause button. I think it's got it, there we go. As you can hear, this is currently playing now exactly what's playing inside. So if I just tilt that down a little bit like that. As you can hear, the music is still on in here and it's playing outside. That is sick. That is like the Tesla of home audio systems. The system is obviously I'm taking energy into my concerns at the moment with the rising energy costs. These Sonos things only use about 10 watts, whereas these use 100 watts each each speaker, so 200 watts, to get your music going. So yeah, these are all just little things that I've been thinking about whilst I've had this Sonos gear in my house. Now to obviously compare it to my actual speakers, I'm gonna need some more of the stuff from Sonos, like their subwoofer, maybe their Connect, and a few of the different bits like that. But I'm hoping to put together a full-on video about the entire Sonos system, if I can get my hands on it, just to let you guys know what it's actually like. 
And let me know in the comments if you know any other home audio people that make home audio stuff like Sonos, because I think they're almost in a league, in a league of their own. And also let me know what you guys are listening to your music on, and I'm talking about audio systems that play music out loud, not portable Bluetooth speakers. I'm talking about home audio systems. What are you guys listening to? This was super fun anyway, traveling to New York and checking out the S2 stuff. It was awesome to see what they've got going on at Sonos. Because like I said, I really do think, now I've seen this, that they're onto something, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put my money on my words until I've seen the whole line. Babe. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> What's going on? Polar opposite of your Land Rover, isn't it? <laughs> like the smallest car I could ever get. But what it says on the side? Cambridge car up. Coming in. Yeah. Whoa.